Today we're going to be removing and replacing a rocker panel on a 96 Chevy pickup. So to begin, let me reposition the camera so you can see exactly how we're going to go about doing that. This rocker panel was welded on before this quarter or the cab corner, before the door and before the fender. So in order to avoid having to remove all those things, we're just going to alter this new rocker panel from fixmyrust.com a little bit. So let me show you what my plan will be in order to avoid removing this cab corner, the door, and the fender. So we're just going to slide it under this cab corner and then I plan on following this, cutting it, cutting the old one off right there and then right across here. And let me show you what I'm going to do in the front. In the front, near the hinges of the door and the fender, we're going to make our lives a little bit easier. And we're going to cut it right here because the front of this rocker is still in very good condition. So I'm just going to cut it right across here and we're going to butt weld it right there. To remove this rocker panel, I started by drilling out the welds with an eighth inch pilot hole and almost a half inch bit, real sharp, to knock out those welds. Then I used a die grinder to follow my lines that I wanted to cut back here and up front. Now I'm going to make my life a little bit easier and I'm just going to cut it right across here with an air hammer so I can fold this up and dig those and slice those welds from the underside and then fold the bottom down and knock those out. I'm going to change my bit to a nice flat bit like this. That's the bottom half of it. Now I'm going to get a pliers here to bend that up. So I can see, see under there and get my air hammer right under those welds. There, that's it for the removal process. I'm gonna cut the new, oops, I'm gonna cut the new one to fit in that hole. Once I get it all cut to fit exactly and clamped up, I'll be back. The new rocker was trimmed so that it could be butt welded right here, butt welded right here, and a half inch could be slid 
into the cab corner. Before I weld this, I'd like to show you what I did with the inner panel. The original inner panel came all the way down to here and was completely sealed, but that allowed salt water and debris and other things to gather in there and rust it. So I chose to just weld these square pieces of metal in and fold them over with a flange so that I could have something to weld to and then there would be large amounts of drainage so I could actually squirt inside their oil or wash them out or even run my hand through there to make sure there was nothing in there to rust it. So let me get this set up to weld and then I'll be right back. So before I weld, I just wanted to show you the tip of my welder, what it looks like, because this thing can slide down or up, but I like to have it set just about like, like that right there. And then I'm just going to put a series of spots right next to each other. Bang, 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 and I have the welder set on two. If it blows through, you got it too hot. You're going to have to back off on the temperature. Once the welding is finished, the next step is to grind these welds down a little bit, knock them down, grind the area clean, and fill it with some body filler. When I get that prepared, I'll be back. Before the filler is applied, I just wanted to give you a really close up shot of the welds. And if you'll notice, I don't grind the welds completely flat. And the reason I do that is I don't want to accidentally grind the adjacent metal too thin. And if you notice, right here, I actually hit the metal as I was grinding the welds. And that actually makes me a little bit nervous. How do I know how much I took off right there? So, I try to leave the welds a little high. I'd rather leave them high and knock them down with a body hammer and then fill it. After the welds were ground, cleaned, and knocked down with a body hammer, it's time to apply the body filler. So we're just going to put a nice coat of body filler on there. And I cut down a spreader so that it's a little smaller. It's easier to handle. And we're just going to come right across there make it real nice And that's good. The only thing left to do is sand this down, DA sand the rest of the area, and prime it. When I get that finished, 
I'll be back to show you the finished panel. After sanding the filler, then DA sanding the rest of the area and giving it a few coats of primer, this is the finished panel. I hope you enjoyed this video on removing and replacing a rocker panel. And if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.